with B4F, plants need minerals. We need to know about what plants use the minerals for and where they get them from. So first of all, plants get their minerals from the soil. So they need things like nitrates from the soil, phosphates, potassium, and magnesium compounds. Now, you need to know about the uses and the deficiency symptoms. So what happens if they don't have them and an explanation for it. So with nitrates, you need to know that these are used for building proteins and for growth. Deficiency symptoms then will be you'll have poor growth and you'll get yellowed leaves. An explanation for that would be that all the amino acids contain nitrogen. So without it, you can't make the amino acids and therefore you can't make the proteins because amino acids are the building blocks of protein. With phosphates, you need to know that it's used in the plant for respiration and growth and deficiency symptoms of it is poor root growth and you get discolored leaves. The reason for that is it's a component of the DNA molecules and the cell membranes. Potassium ions are used for respiration and photosynthesis. So without those, you get poor flower and poor fruit growth, and you also get discolored leaves. So the reason for that is it must be present, otherwise photosynthesis and respiration enzymes won't work. So that will slow down overall the growth. Magnesium then is required in photosynthesis. So without it, you'd have yellow leaves. And the explanation is that if this chlorophyll doesn't develop properly. So chlorophyll molecules contain magnesium ions, and it's the magnesium that makes chlorophyll green. The final sort of point that you need to know is the idea of active transport. Now these minerals don't freely come from the soil into the plant. So they need to be actively transported into the plant. That means that it takes energy to get these minerals into the plant. And these minerals are only present in the soil in low quantities.